Hello, I'm Brandon Pulsethwaite, engineer with Keysight Technologies. I'm happy to introduce the S96041B impedance analysis application for use with the E5080B vector network analyzer and 16198A bottom electrode SMD test fixture. The 16198A fixture is designed for two terminal bottom electrode SMD components in 0201 and 0402 metric package sizes. Using this fixture, one can quickly test SMD components up to 10 GHz. With this extra frequency range, we are able to better characterize small components for higher frequency applications. We will measure two DUTs, a resistor and a capacitor, both in the 0402 metric package size. Attach the adapter box to the VNA port 1 via the rigid cable. On the ENA, change the measurement class to impedance analyzer and select the desired stimulus settings. Select the desired trace measurements for the component. It is recommended to set the format of the display to real using the format soft key. Prepare to calibrate the system. This requires the use of a database cal kit, the 85052DH02. To use this kit, import the data from the cal kit's provided file. The fixture calibration data will also be required. This calibration data is provided via Keysight InfoLine as a downloadable file. On the calibration menu, select the database cal kit for the S parameter calibration. In the fixture compensation, Click the three periods button to browse and select the fixture compensation file. Lastly, enter the open and short measurement values for the fixture. Recommended values are in the ENA help file. Open G, zero Siemens. Open C, next 7.5 femtofarads. Short R, zero ohms. Short L, 0.19 nanohenries. Calibrate the adapter box by attaching the requested standards from the database cal kit. Attach the fixture to the adapter box and measure the open state. Place the short bar across the terminals of the contact board. Lower the pressure weight onto the short bar and measure the short state. With the system now calibrated, measuring devices is as simple as placing them across the contact board terminals and lowering the weight. We will first measure and evaluate the capacitor. We can see this capacitor measures approximately 22 picofarads which matches the expectation for this part number. We can also see the resonant frequency of this capacitor. Next, we'll measure and evaluate the resistor. This resistor, rated at 20k ohms, measures very close to its expected value, but falls off in impedance very quickly at higher frequencies. The impedance analysis application enables easy, fast and powerful evaluation of SMD components up to 10 GHz. For more information, please see the product pages for the software and for the fixture linked here. Thank you for watching.